In this tutorial, we will look at manually deleting linked clones or stale virtual desktop entries from the View Composer database in VMware View Manager and Horizon View. The first thing we need to do is to connect to the View Atom database. For more information on this, see KB Article 2012377. We then need to locate the VMs for removal. To do this, we must right click the Connection View Atom database and click New and Query. Then, we're going to provide a query name such as VM Search. Under Root of Search, we click Browse and select the server's organizational unit. Click OK. In the query string, paste the following search string. Note that in this string, virtual machine name is the name of your own VM. Once we've done this, we click OK to create the query. Click the query in the left pane. The VMs that match the search are displayed in the right pane. Check the properties of the items returned and delete the PAE VM objects. To remove the linked clone references from the View Composer database, open SQL Manager, Databases, View Composer database, and Tables. Open the following table and delete the entire row where the virtual machine is referenced under the name column. Then, open this table and again delete the entire row where the virtual machine is referenced under the name column. Then, open the following table and find the virtual machine reference under column VM name and note the ID. If you try to delete this row, it complains about other table dependencies. Open the PDISC info table and delete the entire row where the SIM clone ID is referenced under the parent ID column. Open the base disk keys table and again delete the entire row where the SIM clone ID is referenced under the parent ID column. In the SIM clone table, delete the entire row where the virtual machine is referenced. Now we will look at removing the virtual machine from Active Directory. To remove the virtual machine from Active Directory, log into the domain controller as administrator. Navigate to Start, Administrative Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. Remove the virtual machine from computers. Note that the virtual machine may not be in the computer's organizational unit. It may be in a different OU. Now we will look at deleting the virtual machine from vCenter Server. Right-click the linked clone virtual machine and click Power, Power Off. Right-click the linked clone virtual machine again and click Delete from Disk. This concludes our look at manually deleting linked clones or stale virtual desktop entries from the View Composer database in VMware View Manager and Horizon View. For more tutorials, subscribe to the VMware KB YouTube channel and our blog. Thank you for choosing VMware.